Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for November the 23rd. All these cards have just come out. Uh, Ten of Cups has come out. Oh, the Star card has come out. All five has come out at once. Uh, the Eight of Swords, the King of Swords and the Knight of Cups. My goodness, it's all happened at once. It's all happening at once today. <laughs> and we, the sun has moved into Sagittarius. So we are now in Sagittarius season. What is at the base? I feel like we've got two. We've got the three of pentacles and we've got the nine of pentacles. We've got two base energies today just to just to mix things up, just to say, yep, we've moved from Scorpio into Saggy and things are going to start being a bit different. Now, immediately I'm kind of getting where we're moving beyond limitations to do with money, with belief systems around money, belief systems about what you're capable of around your independence, your freedom, what you can take on and what you can bring around. So I feel like there is more hope coming in for the future, but there's still something stuck inside your mind that, uh, you know, there might need to be a few decisions being made or a strategy being made, but ultimately your heart is calling you, you know, topped and tailed with the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Cups. This is, you know, really being moving forward heart first. This is listening to your heart, what that is truly saying, because your mind there is kind of caught up in all sorts of belief systems. It's feeling a bit stuck, but your heart is really drawing you and guiding you and really saying what truly makes you happy, what can make you happy for the long term. And it does have a lot to do with your work and all what you put a lot of energy into. So that star card there is really nice because it feels like future is calling you. And it's, uh, you know, it's your intuition calling you. It's like I said, your heart calling you. Uh, and so I would just not listen too much to some of those thoughts inside your mind because you don't need a strategy to move forward with this energy. It's saying any kind of strategy you put on something at this moment may be limited or maybe there is a limited strategy with something. And even though you feel like you're being called into it, there, I feel like the plan is going to adjust and change along the way. So it doesn't have to be in this fixed uh, mindset at this moment in time. Yeah, sure, you might have a plan. You might have an idea of, about how things are going, but they're saying that could definitely change. Uh, so there is, with this Three of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles, we're looking at all this earth energy about implementation of ideas and how they can make money and how you who you're working with, how that's all going to work, whether you want to work together. The Three of Pentacles is working collaborative with collaboratively on a project with everybody showcasing their skills the nine of pentacles is happy to be on your own and so how are you going to bring that lovely mix and blend in with this there's two different energies here but they both can work very well together so it's finding that balance that's coming through here so I feel like you know it's just interesting because it feels like everything's flowing there's like the majority of these energies are all moving in the right direction <laughs> And yeah, it's just something inside your mind is stuck with this. So I feel like if you can't see a solution or an answer or the bigger picture or at the moment, be open to the fact that, yeah, things as they stand at this moment in time, how you think things are, you might have a fixed idea, idea of view of it is going to change. So there is this flow happening and, uh, but ultimately I, it's asking you to listen to those messages from your heart and to really work out uh, finding that lovely balance between working with people and being happy in your own skin and what's what you want to take on yourself and what you want to kind of be doing with a group. So that's the energy for the 23rd. I like the fact the star card is in there because it is saying that there's a lot of future potentials that are unfolding at this moment in time and they're yet to unfold. So be open to that. So that is the reading for November 23rd. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.